Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and we're doing a little update on the uh, relatively recent crash of the Russian rocket that um, basically exploded in the air but luckily both of the astronauts safely arrived back to Earth. This is um, actually the video that was very very recently released by Roscosmos showing kind of what happened and you can actually see right now uh, in a few seconds um, that there's going to be a problem and the entire rocket is actually going to kind of explode. I'm going to show you the video first. I, I um, also am going to post the link for this video in the description below. Uh, but most importantly, I wanted to actually explain to you what really happened here. And you're going to see um, this particular disaster occur in just a few seconds right now. Now, right there, there, I don't know if you saw it or if you missed it, but right there was the reason for the crash. This is kind of what uh, was speculated originally and actually kind of relates to what I was originally saying that the problem occurred right here um, with one of the uh, boosters also known as blocks and for these Russian rockets. This is specifically um, one of the blocks known as the D block. And um, this is kind of where it gets a little bit uh, hazy and a little bit tricky because the uh, Roscosmos did release a very, very short and brief description of what they think happened. And um, with my broken Russian, I was kind of able to translate it, but all right, so let's, let's go through this. So according to their press release, uh, the problem occurred with the D block, one of the blocks, um, so-called boosters of the rocket. And this right here is actually the only reason they give. And I, I swear, I, I've read this several times and I even used Google Translate to really try to understand what's actually being said here. But in a nutshell, it's a little sensor somewhere in the D block that was bent by about six degrees, I believe. And because of this little sensor, when uh, one of these boosters was separating, um, it actually did not detect the separation that was necessary and uh, essentially did not separate properly. And instead, it actually got stuck to the main block, uh, this larger part of the rocket. And you'll see this um, just in a few seconds here. Um, and while other three blocks essentially did what they were supposed to do, um, you're going to see this happening right around here. So this is the separation. It, actually takes just a few milliseconds. They are all supposed to do this, but as you can see, this D block actually stuck to the rocket and its uh, nozzle, or basically this sharp part here, went inside of the other block, the larger part of the rocket, and literally just uh, made a hole in it. And because of this, the entire rocket was um, essentially destroyed. Luckily, the safety system was able to detect this really, really quickly, and uh, the entire stage separated within milliseconds. And this is why in my last video, I actually said that this is probably the safest rocket we currently have. We don't really have anything safer than this, despite its relatively old age. Now, just like in the original video, I, I want to show you the visual representation because I actually modified this rocket just a little bit to make it somewhat imperfect. And um, we're going to see if I can actually maybe help us recreate this particular disaster a little bit better this time with one of these blocks literally digging into the body of the rocket and essentially causing a little bit of an explosion. But while we're waiting for this rocket to actually get into the upper atmosphere, um, let's actually watch uh, the uh, takeoff as it happened in real life. Now, here's the fun part. I personally had no idea that there was even a camera here. This is how secretive Roscosmos can be with their launches. Um, I believe most media sources um, were almost adamant in saying that um, we didn't really have any visual confirmation of what happened. And the fact that there was actually a camera was kept a secret until, well, really the last few moments. Now, um, it's interesting how you can see the rocket already doing the actual uh, turn here, the gravity turn, and it was going really fast at this point. Um, and this was over 50 kilometers in the altitude. And we're still not entirely sure how this actually happened. Uh, the only report that we have so far basically states that this actually was a mistake during the assembly of the rocket. In other words, um, the uh, actual report does not specify what caused this particular part to bend by six degrees. Um, but what we do know is that uh, from now on, uh, I'm pretty sure Roscosmos is going to be extra careful about their launches because 
uh, this is the second time within a year that something really bad happens with the rockets and um, this is going to cost them quite a lot of contracts and uh, as you probably know SpaceX has already actually taken over a lot of the contracts um, that used to be basically Russian rockets um, and uh, for the most part SpaceX has actually almost monopolized the space business um, which is actually kind of good I mean personally I, I like the fact that rocket business has some competition now because before that it was always um, the Russian government running the show. Um, anyway, so uh, we're coming on to that part where these engines are going to run out of fuel and I'm going to see if I can maybe recreate uh, this disaster slightly more accurately than last time. Uh, and uh, this is actually a slightly older version of the um, uh, Soyuz rocket. Uh, this is actually not the uh, newer version that we saw in the real video. This one is from several decades ago, but they actually haven't changed much in terms of uh, the visual design. Only the actual um, parts on the inside have changed. All right, so uh, just like in real life, I'm over 50 kilometers in altitude. I'm moving at close to two kilometers per second um, of speed and something suddenly goes wrong and the automatic detection system uh, detects it. And it's going to save my astronauts, hopefully. So here we go. And and okay it was not a very big explosion but basically this is when the rocket would actually activate all of its um systems and everything would start separating and my beautiful astronauts are going to hopefully return back home and everything else basically kind of flies apart into the abyss of space uh for the most part um, this is not exactly how it happened because the other parts just kind of literally separated and um deactivated they did not have their engines firing like mine did but this part, with the astronauts just kind of uh, drifting away and suddenly re-entering the atmosphere at like 4 to 5G um, of, of acceleration, which is actually quite painful, um, this part is quite real. So um, do check out the video of the actual launch in the description below. And also um, subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who wants to actually know what really happened to this particular rocket. And most importantly, come back tomorrow to learn something else. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Happy Halloween. Well, belated Halloween. And space out. And as always, bye-bye.